Listen, I've got a word for you today, because some of the people that have been coming to me and talking about problems in their life, they don't feel assured of a whole lot in life these days. They're bombarded by the cares of this world, by watching the news, they see how bad the world is spiraling downward. So much disrespect and dishonor towards the enforcement and towards just the rules of the land. So many violators and criminals going about. Listen, let me share something with you. I'm going to Jeremiah, that's in the Old Testament. For I know the plans and the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me. Go and pray to me, and I will listen. And you will seek me and find me, and when you search for me with all your heart, I will be found by you, says the Lord. And I will bring you back from your captivity. Listen, folks, you know, the Word of God is so good. Every single day, He's got a word for you. Do you know this book, this Bible, whatever translation you have, is God's voice to you. When you get into it, you search it, and it's searching you. How about that? It's a living book. It's a living word. That is a fact. This simply means this. God loves you so much that he says, I know your thoughts. That's before you ever even have a recollection and awareness of the thoughts that you have. He already knows your thoughts. He knows your intentions. He says, and he knows, he says, I know the thoughts I have towards you. And those are not for evil. Friend, there's many of you right now who don't feel like you have much hope. And you certainly don't feel like you have much future. But I'm here to let you know that you have been hoodwinked by the enemy. Satan is doing his very best to kill, steal, and destroy. That's what the book says. That is his sole purpose. Kill, steal, and destroy. That means you, your family, that's your kids, that's your mom and your dad, that's everybody on planet Earth, especially Christians. Now, friend, this is something you've got to do. If you're spiraling downward right now and your tail feathers are on fire, that's, what, that's a weird example, I know. But as you're spiraling down and you feel like there's no hope, you better pull up on that stick right now. Let's get that nose level. Get your horizon on the on the gauge there. And let's level off. You've been believing a lie. No matter what you feel right now, if you feel like you are depressed, if you feel like you're angry, you feel like you're overwhelmed by the cares of this world, God Almighty says, call unto me and I'll show you great and mighty things which you don't know. He's a great God. And he's got great big promises. And he's got a world of stuff for you. And I'm going to tell you what. Get your thoughts together. Call unto him. Give him a chance, okay? Don't just try one time and say, okay, I prayed and he didn't answer me. That's a cop out. You know it. Get real with God, friend. This is a real deal. We're in the end days, so we've got to get this right. That's me and you and all of us working together going in the same direction. So let's get it together. Come to church. Be a part of us over here. 1132A, Kincaid Bridge Road in Winsboro, South Carolina. Come on, kick it in gear. We'll look at it. Look for you Sunday. You'll see my big black Dodge Ram pickup truck right out front. Have a blessed evening. Until I see you next time, God bless you.